Let's look at graphing lines using the slope intercept method. To use this method, we first of all need to make sure our equation is in the slope intercept form, which is the y equals mx plus b form. After doing so, we can make sure that we write the slope and the y intercept down. Then we would plot the y intercept and then use the slope to move from the y intercept to another point on the line. To see an example of what it means to move from a point on the line to another point using the slope, we should first of all recognize that technically the slope allows us to move from any point on the line to another point. Although when we use the slope intercept form to graph lines, the point that we'll start on is the y intercept. To move using the slope, we should think of the slope as being the rise over the run. The rise indicates a movement in the up or down direction. So if the numerator is positive, that's telling us we should move up the corresponding number of units. If the numerator is negative, that's telling us to move down. Likewise, if we look at the run, the run indicates a movement of left and right. So if the run is positive, we'll move to the right, the corresponding number of units. If the run is negative, then we'll move to the left. So let's look at a few examples just using the slope alone. If the slope of our line is two-thirds, since the numerator of two is positive, that would tell us to move up two units. The denominator of three is positive, telling us we would move to the right three units. So for now, we'll just look at the slope and know that this means up two and right three. If we look at a negative slope, for instance, if the slope is a negative two-thirds, we must choose whether to move the negative to the numerator or the denominator. For this example, we'll move the negative to the numerator and note that a negative two-thirds is the same thing as a negative two divided by three. If we think of the slope in this manner, the slope of a negative two divided by three tells me to move down two units and then, since the three is positive, write three. Okay, let's look at an example of graphing y equal two x plus one. So we first of all note that this equation is already in slope-intercept form. So I should quickly be able to identify the slope, which is a positive two, and then the y-intercept, which is the ordered pair, zero, one. Let's be careful to note that we wouldn't write y equal one here, because an intercept is an actual point. So be careful to write the y-intercept as a point. Okay, so the slope of two may look strange because it doesn't appear to have a denominator. Yet if we recall, two is equivalent to two over one, which again using our movement directions would tell us to move up two units and write one. Okay, so we've identified the slope and the y-intercept. To actually graph the line using that information, our first step is to plot the y-intercept, which would be the ordered pair zero, one. Now let's use the slope of two to tell us how to move to the next point. A slope of two indicates to move up two units from, in this case, the y-intercept. So from the ordered pair zero, one, we'll move up two units and then to the right one. Plot our new point there. Again, notice the rise was two units and the run was one. Now we can draw our line through the two points that are given. And then we can label the line y equal two x plus one. Let's look at another example. Here we want to graph the line 3x plus 4y equals 8. In this case, our original equation is not in slope-intercept form, so we must take the time to write it in that form. Our first step is to subtract 3x from both sides, and then dividing both sides by 4, we get y equals a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Now that it's in slope-intercept form, we can identify the slope as a negative three-fourths and the y-intercept as the ordered pair, zero, comma, two. The slope of negative three-fourths would indicate a negative three over a positive four, telling me to move down three units and right 
4. And again, this is from the y-intercept. So if I plot the ordered pair 0, 2, and now using the slope, let's move down 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and I must move to the right 4. That would be this point here. After plotting that point, we can draw our line through the two points and then label it.